Here we have a game called Asphalt 8. It's a very realistic racing game. I guess you could call it that. Um, on the phone. So it's about as good as you can get for free on mobile. So if we go ahead and start a race here. I'm going to use the R8. It is a pretty decent car. It was pretty cheap. It's one of the very first cars that you get. So we can go ahead and join a room here so you can select what race type. I normally go with classic, where you want. I'm gonna go Nevada, that's a pretty flat place. And I like three laps. And this is a voting method. So all the people now coming in are voting what place they want, how many laps, and what style of racing they want. So now you wait here for the people to join and vote. Here it says race starts in three, two, one. And you can see now it changed to sector eight. So you don't always get what you vote for. It just depends on what everybody else wants. So now this will load up and we'll normally have to wait for other players. This could be if they have like a slower phone or it just doesn't load as fast for them. So we'll wait for this to load. It doesn't normally take too long. You gotta get a glimpse of what the map will look like. Here we go, now the race is starting. So off the bat, you can always recover. Just try not to get knocked out and get bumped into the wall and get a knockout at the very beginning. I've had that happen a few times, so just be cautious. Now we can go here. You can see the guy in front of me didn't quite land correctly, so he got knocked out. This is quite an interesting racetrack. It's kind of confusing whenever you're playing. So we go ahead and try to get those nitrous things, but sometimes whenever you're on warp walls like that, they're pretty hard to get. So we'll go right off the ramp like that into one of these tubes, and you can see right now we are in first place. And these tubes are a little hard to navigate, just no fast movements, or else you'll go up against the wall, and like that, except really hard, and you'll probably crash. So over here we have a portal. Most maps aren't kind of crazy like this, but if you go into the portal, it'll transport you somewhere else in the map. And here in the corner, you can see a map and people are right behind me. So it's a very tight match. If we had like a rear view camera, they would be right on my bumper. So it's only a two lap race here. And we're getting a little closer to the beginning. And say if you're coming up on a sharper turn, like right up here, if you want, you can drift into the turn by tapping on the left side of the screen. And drifting gives you boost or nitrous, which really helps. And you can see he's gaining a little bit on me. He's taking the inside of the part of the turn, which is tricky on the super tight turns like that. But I think we can catch up to him in just a second here. Our nitrous is a little bit better. We'll take a little bit of a different route than we did last time. Just like this, and they should, yep. He's still right there. Here I'm taking the inside part of the turn, which is the shortest distance around. So just take in things like that. There we just took him out. And just taking in accounts like that to try to give yourself the best advantage possible. If you're taking the inside of parts of the turn, you'll be going around it fast. And you'll be able to pass them. So here we're coming back out. And this is the last and final lap. And we have them all pretty far behind us. So right now we're doing pretty well. And the key is just be kind of cautious. You don't want to keep crashing. I've had that 
at the beginning and it's pretty easy to do. Now, coming up on the end finally, and it looks like we're gonna pull out Victorious. And the way you actually can crash, if you hit a, uh, hit like the end at a super high, like nitrous speed, like head on, then it probably will say that you wrecked or you got a knockout and it'll set you back. It takes time, which is one of the worst things that can happen. But if you boost into somebody else, you can knock them out and then that'll set them back. Here comes the finish right here. And here we go, we finished in first place. And I thought that turned out pretty well. So I hope you guys found this video pretty useful on how to play this game well. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.